Hey guys, History 1302, this is part four. Now this is dedicated to uh, Taft, our 27th president, William Howard Taft. Now Taft is a Republican. He is a Roosevelt's predecessor. He was kind of handpicked by Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, and poor Taft is noted as the big guy. You know, uh, Taft is probably our biggest president, uh, six foot two. They got him at 300. They believe Taft probably got up to 400 pounds at one point. Taft is the guy that people always remember. He's the president that got stuck in the bathtub, and they had to build a bathtub that three men could get into big enough for Taft. Uh, and that's sad. I mean, that's his reputation. The guy gets stuck in the bathtub. Uh, he is also our last president with any facial hair. Uh, he had a big mustache. Uh, Taft is kind of a sad guy in history because Taft didn't want to be the president. Uh, Taft was kind of handpicked by Roosevelt. Roosevelt decided he was finished with being the president, but Roosevelt was going to pick somebody that was going to be his predecessor that would follow through with his policies. Now, the thing about Theodore Roosevelt, guys, is people either, when he was alive, and he people either liked him or you didn't. Roosevelt and Taft were friends, but during all this, they will become very, uh, almost arch enemies, because once Taft doesn't run the country like Roosevelt thinks he can, ro or should, Roosevelt's like, I put you in place. You're supposed to do what I'm telling you to do. And Taft still is, no, I'm the president now. I can run this country how I want to run it. They get into a disagreement. Taft really, uh, and I've got Taft papers. Taft wanted to be a Supreme Court justice. That's what the man wanted to do. He only became the president because Roosevelt pushed him into it. Uh, but, you know, Taft does a lot of good things. If you look at it, Taft had been an attorney. Uh, and unlike Roosevelt, who kind of bulled his way through, Taft will file a series of antitrust suits, which is pretty much what government does today. And Taft is very efficient. Uh, he is just not that very flamboyant, very outgoing Theodore Roosevelt. I mean, he followed a guy that was just this dyna dynamo. You know, it's kind of like if you look at uh, George H. Bush, you know, he followed Ronald Reagan. Reagan is just, just bigger than life guy. And it wasn't that Bush was a bad president. He followed somebody that was just a dynamo, uh, you know, and it's hard to come in behind somebody like that. And Taft, did have that. Taft really didn't want to be the president. A uh, couple of interesting things about Taft, and I tell my students, is that he actually, if you look at his administration, he wasn't that bad of a president, really. But if Taft were here, Taft would tell you real quick, don't write a paper on me. I shouldn't have, you know, I didn't want to be president. Don't write a paper on me. Please don't do that, you know. Uh, and he just did not have the charisma that Theodore Roosevelt had, which, I mean, we're not going to have another president like Roosevelt for a long time, uh, a long time. So uh, we know that Taft will actually, there'll be a three-man race. Roosevelt will come back. Roosevelt will decide he wants to run for office, and Roosevelt comes in, but he loses the Republican nomination. Think about that, guys. He will lose that nomination. His own party will not nominate him. They're going to pick Taft. And the thing about Roosevelt, and I love Roosevelt, but Roosevelt was a bull, very bullheaded individual. Once that happens, Roosevelt should have just got on board with his party, supported Taft. But that's not the way Theodore Roosevelt runs. Theodore Roosevelt wanted to be the president. So bad, he created that second party, a third party, excuse me. It was called the Progressive Party. We talked about that, uh, the Bull Moose Party. Uh, so he will run under that party. He splits his own party. He splits his own party, and by doing that, the Democrat, which is uh, Woodrow Wilson, will win the election, uh, which is really interesting. W Wilson wins it. Uh, because Theodore Roosevelt split his party. Now, 
who knows if, I mean, you know, in history, you just never know. I can tell you that, that they got so, Taft and Roosevelt got so argumentative during this. Taft never forgave him. Uh, Taft never forgave uh, Theodore Roosevelt. In fact, there's a story that a reporter came in and Taft was sitting at his office. He says, Good God, Taft. And he's crying. And the reporter's like, Why are you crying? And he says, Roosevelt, look. And he holds up a paper. He said, He's called me a fathead. You know, I mean, Roosevelt could be nasty. He could be one of those guys that could really be nasty. Uh, and their friendship was, was gone because of politics. Actually, Taft will be, will get along better with with Wilson than he ever does with uh with uh Roosevelt but the the back story of Taft I love to tell guys is that Taft will eventually become a Supreme Court justice he actually leaves office loses a lot of weight he loses a bunch of weight Taft was always big I mean don't get me wrong he doesn't become like a marathon runner and he's 120 pounds he's still probably pushing close to up in the to up in the 200s, way up in the 200s, but he does lose office. He was a stress eater. When he got into the office, he ate and ate and ate, and you can see pictures of Taft. He gets enormous, uh, but once he leaves, he loses a lot of weight, becomes a Supreme Court justice, and Taft ends his life very happy. The happiest years of his life was when he was a Supreme Court justice. Uh, he just didn't want to be president. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this up when we come back. Uh, we're going to talk about that election, about that three-way split, and we're going to introduce you to the guy who won that, Woodrow Wilson. Uh, and that will also get us right on the brink of World War One. They didn't call it that. They couldn't call it World War One because we hadn't had World War Two yet called it the Great War. So we're getting pretty close to that. We come back, we'll have session five and a wrap up. See you guys then.